David, did you know that auditors and companies don't have to disclose their materiality standards? So no. one of the arguments, like one of the reasons why frauds don't get reported in audits is because they're immaterial, meaning that it's decided that the amount of the fraud or the amount of the inconsistency or the misstatement is not enough to change the mind of an investor. And it, it, the question is something like, and I apologize, auditors, if I don't get this exactly right, but the question is essentially, would this, would, informa would this information change how an investor views the stock, right, or views the company? And if it's small enough, like, then no, right? It, like, David, if, if there was a $10,000 fraud at Microsoft, would you care? Would that make a difference? Probably not. Listen? No, But it right? seems to be reported. Like, the street should make that decision. Well, not we don't, you, you can't report everything. So you, you have okay. to have a materiality standard. But what I'm saying is that we don't know what that is. We don't know what that number is. The auditors don't even have to tell us what the materiality standard is. So all it takes is somebody at the audit firm to say it's immaterial. Now, in their documentation, they're supposed to have this. It's very easy to cover up something you don't want to see with materiality. You, you just raise the bar. Well, on this on this audit engagement, we had the bar set at this number, and that didn't meet that number, so we can ignore it. Yeah, and, and it's very discretionary. So even the PCOB has trouble questioning materiality because it's up to the audit partner. There is no definition of what is material. Now, there's rules of thumb, right? Many audit firms use 5% of pre-tax net income as a materiality threshold. Um, the SEC's new climate rules suggest a 1% threshold for revenue expenditures or assets, right? And it's very complicated. And there's both materiality for individual transactions, but also for an account and for the financial statements as a whole. There's all sorts of different materiality levels. And this is all highly discretionary. So it's, it's very easy if you don't want to see something to not see it because you can simply put on darker sunglasses, right? Raise your materiality threshold until you can't see the problem.